stabs violently in front of me. And Ketchup loves stabbing in front of me. And it's it's awful. Prepare to fight. I hope so, Swan Song. I hope so. Round begins in three, two, one. Anyway, fight. YouTube. We're done talking about dabbing. And if you start talking about dabbing in YouTube comments, you're a terrible human. Um, but we've got Rafa versus Toxic, which is a pretty, pretty solid matchup. And Rafa's the one who took the slash, so we don't get to see uh, Tox slash. We just get to see Tox suffer. Still no rail, actually, for Rafa. I think he needs to get over there in a second. That was a nice little slideroo. He doesn't want to be too predictable going over to the rail. Oh, and he just found him. It's like de-stacked, alone, wandering on Bridge of Blood Covenant. In need of a helping hand. Or rocket. Not a bad rocket at all from uh, Tox, but he needs a lot more than that to really impose himself. Rafa's got a really weird rail technique. Look, Tox's gonna start stringing together some of these rails. Like, if he can get his aim up, then he's gonna be fine. I'm curious, the Eisen versus Slash is an interesting, like, matchup to pick. We've got middies, though, and Rafa almost gets shut down. He doesn't want to even cross Tox's path again, so he does the vertical drop immediately to get the resources below. Then he can get himself the Mega. And he might even be able to get himself onto the heavy in a second. He just took way more damage than I think he was hoping to. It's been an unsuccessful venture. <laughs> he took so much damage already. And he could have gotten the mega health, but it's like he wanted to keep a track on Tox, and he didn't fully respect the fact that Tox usually hits those type of shots. Again, his LG is off. Like, that pillar is doing so much work for Tox. Oh, and he even manages to secure the light for himself. That's annoying. Uh, Rap has been committing himself to some pretty tough fights. I don't dislike the switch over to, uh, to the machine gun. Could maybe have got himself in a spot of trouble if he went for the rail and missed it. It took a while to decide it, but it doesn't matter. You take your time, because until that point, until you commit to the shot, then you can still reload and do other things. Oh, he needs to hit those shots, man. He know I think there was a small shake of the head. Let's 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 go back to uh, Rafa Rafa sh head shake cam. Or right, well, less of a head shake, more of a, just a sort of whiff of disappointment. Oh, what the hell? That was really sick. Rafa was talking there as well. Wait. Like, you just don't expect to take this kind of damage. You expect maybe a rail, but that rocket is so dope. I, I feel like I'm not going to say for sure. To say, like, Tox got lucky? I don't know. I don't know if that's what he said. I thought I saw the word lucky being spoken, but, you know. Could be anything. I could definitely also be see it being like, holy shit. Damn, Tox, what a shot. Well, Rafa's starting to pull out some free damage. Did he just forget that that was there? 
Like, he saw... Oh, sorry if you guys are getting annoyed from me doing this. Like, he knows the turret's there. I think he felt like the turret was p p far enough through the doorway that it couldn't see him going up the bounce pad. Yeah. I think that might have been the, the slight misobservation. It's not. It ultimately doesn't mean anything, though. He does need the rockets, though. And I think that uh, turret is kind of what put him off getting it before. But now we can work with it. No drama. Really good, Rel. Really, really good. And I like the... He doesn't carry it around. I think I think he could well have gone in for that, actually. His stack's not bad, but he looks like he's going to try and conclude the fight elsewhere. Oh, that direct. Oh, this is spicy. Give me the more spice. The rapper spice. Mmm, tickle him. Tickle him gently up the bounce pad. Give yourself easy space, because if you get the frag there, you're not going to force a spawn over to heavy. And now it's tied up. Tough shot. And he didn't really want to stay still there in case uh, Tox is also going for a shot himself. Take the health bubble, bro. Was it someone saying Slash needs more FPS? It, do it does when reviewing a VOD. Ooh. It's damage you want to be dealing. Did Tox leave it? I don't know if he did. Maybe he did leave the spot. Looks like Rafa maybe is uncertain, so he uh, moves elsewhere. Look at the textures, boys. Tox still manages to find the rail. Does Rafa have the rail equipped? I wonder if he like heard him there or just his Terminator senses were tingling. Two in one stream. Excuse me, guys. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. It's been really, really quiet between these guys. Because it is a close game and there's not that much time left, neither of them want to take be taking the big risks. And there's definitely respect going on between the two of them. I actually really don't remember even remember who wins this map, so... Ooh. I mean, Rafa's not even opening up any line of sights there when he's below full natural. not bad pressure at all. Oh, this is really good from Tox. What a push. I don't think he realized that he was pushing down below. Right in. That's a good spawn frag. That could be the map, actually. That really could be the map. Damn. And people are talking about it. Well, Machiavelli said Rafa's less than one point for being in the final. 
It's like instances like this where uh, you lose a map. God, I, I don't think he loses the series overall, but again, don't remember. Um, if you get the 2 0 rather than a 2 1, then it's a small amount more points. You know, if you're at least getting a map, or instead of getting 2-0, then it's one more point. Like, every map victory counts for something. So many turrets. So many! So Tox actually wins this versus Slash. That's pretty impressive, actually. Slash is regarded probably as number one champion here, along with Athena, I want to say. Let's uh, settle down, Chris. Uh, we, we all know this stuff. We don't need to keep saying it. All right, so Tox. Tox getting that. So in this instance, I'm like, okay, Tox is playing hot shit. All right, what do we go to next? Is it Awoken next? I can't remember. Tox knows all inside and outs of Slash, so not surprised. Yeah, I, I think you're right there, FaZe. Like... If you are the best Slash player in the world, and I think that Tox is, then being able... To, you can kind of know what counters it, right? You kind of understand all the strengths and weaknesses the best. And uh, I, I'll say this now, actually. I might talk about it a little bit more after the match is over. Because uh, I've been contemplating whether to do like an invitational or open, but I think I'm going to run it open. The next cup, which is not going to be Zed Live Cup, I don't know what to call it yet. This is Zoot Cup. It doesn't have such a good ring to it. Um, I'm going to make it slash only time limit duel uh, open to everybody. To and fight. I haven't thought about prize money capital. Round begins but whatever it is, Three, I'm going to make two, uh, it slash one, only time limit duel cup. Eight. I'm going to make sure. I'm going to make sure that players like Tox, Cypher, uh, Hell. And there's some other top European guys can also participate in it. Especially like the guys who are really good with Slash. But I really want to get like a good old school like playlist uh, involved. But anyway, we're, we're kind of off the start here. Did I, did I miss like a mutual frag or something? I, start, I like blacked out when I was talking about all of that. Either way, it's 0 0 now, and we're at the second rotation of items. We got two CPM based champions. Ooh, not a bad drive by Rocket. The acid's not going to do anything though for Rafa. Two seventy degree flick rocket. Unfortunately, for him, Tox wasn't there. Not yet, at least. Strengths would definitely not compete in a slash only tournament. He has literally no idea how to move in uh, with slash. Maybe I'm wrong, but I know he, he had literally no idea how to move with anarchy, and I have the feeling that if he doesn't know how to move with anarchy, then he doesn't know how to move with slash. Maybe that's broken logic, but fight me. Anyway, Rafa's got himself a nice couple. Tox has gotten a little bit over keen. Mm, not com committing. Still checking the teleporter exit in case Tox does do something crazy. Oh, 
Oh, are you talking about just strengths generally? I don't know if he'll try. I thought you were just talking about the slash thing. Oh my god, Rafa's being pretty quiet. God, there's so much HP, like so slow the HP tick down on heavy champions. I think it's like two seconds per one HP tick down compared to two HP tick down per second, I think it is for Anarchy. Really, really nice rail. Oh my god, if he didn't get railed there, he probably could have pushed in. Ooh. Yeah, he went in a little bit aggressive around the corner just then. He's not really connecting the algae that he needs there. He's got another chance because Tox goes right out, out into the open. Yeah, I, I think that's super aggressive. It looks like it's rare to see Rafa do that, but he really overcommitted to getting the mega health just then. I think he was trying to dodge enough to eventually wiggle his way there, but he hadn't done what needed to be done. And he's going to die again. What's the score now? Tox has got a lead even. But Tox should be weak. Can't push him out of the map. I think Tox is like, I'd rather give you an open angle for me than, ooh, than uh, give you the pleasure of pushing me out of the map. And that direct rocket. I think he had exactly a hundred health. Five minute warning. Stop watch. But well, this is a big, big stack. You can recover your game with this. This fight is going really weirdly. Oh my god. Tox, yeah, he did find the health bubble. He's got to know that Raph is picking up a lot of health right now. Yeah, and Rafa's not really interested in fighting. Is he gonna get Maker? He's positioned for it, I'd expect it. Okay, rockets do miss. Tox is still being cautious. Like, this lead is very easy to say goodbye to. Oh, man. That one round is scary. Oh, what? They, they hit each other? Okay. I thought Rafa was actually going to win that fight. A little more cleanly. Well, we had some clutch play. Oh, dude. Wait, I'm going to see what happened here. So it goes up. I, can't, I don't think he necessarily wanted to drop down at all. It's just that rocket was ridiculous from Tox. Really, really ridiculous. Yeah, Tox hung around for a long time there. Like, he could have been pushed back with LG and he could have escaped if he wanted to, I think. Yeah. 
Tox. He took such a sharp turn to get around. Don't think Tox is aware that his angle for the rail was still open. Rafa's kind of gifted another kill. And his control's not bad off the spawn. And he's got so many weapons. A big push, but he knows that Tox is limited by weaponry. That was a very good read from Rafa. No damage, though. Oh, he's actually going to go in on this. He missed an initial nice jump, but the rocket jump's not bad. Oh, that's so much damage. It's just the same place. Why is Tox hanging around there? I don't understand. Maybe he feels if he goes through LG, then Rafa is going to find another rail on him or something. I just feel like he really, really, really shouldn't have been there. And Tox again. Yeah, I mean... Sure, he's got a much smaller hitbox, but he's vastly outstacked. Vastly. Uh, Tox has the, had the series in his grasp, and it's just uh, has not worked out. Lovely from Rafa. Now it's starting to seal the deal a bit. Because Tox needs now control. And weapons. And most importantly, time that he just doesn't have any of. Oh, there was a rocket jump out. Yeah, it was well calculated by Rafa. He knew the stack that Tox had. If it wasn't GG before, it's certainly GG now. And that is a 1 1. Oh god, what's what he done to Twitter? He's put the cat he's put like the picture from Reddit and asking for captions and I think I just saw a caption. I'll let you guys explore that if you want to. Oh, that's brutal. Kill seventh seven. As far as rap, I'd concentrate on being an esports commentator. It's quick time as a player it's over. Oh dude, that's so painful to hear, man. God, I hope he doesn't hear you say that. Raph is still playing at a, an incredibly high level. Incredibly high level. And remember that he is younger than players like Tox, Cooler, Kelson. He's like three years junior, I think at least. I can't remember, even remember how old Raph is. I think he's approaching 30. Kelson's, I think, 32. And he's just won QuakeCon. Let me enjoy the moment it's for it. <laughs> I mean, sure, sure. Hey, I can't stop, but uh, I can't help myself from uh, speculating what you guys say. Uh, Zeus is transferred now to Team EU. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, Rafa is bathroom breaking. Let's uh let's fast forward it a little bit then. Very polite though. No psychological games though. If it was cooler, he would just like be BRB and he wouldn't say anything else. He wouldn't be like, hey, do you mind if I he just said BRB? Hey, I hope so, Mr. P Pistolero. Uh, yeah, QPL starts at the end of the month, Chris, uh, at like the 25th.
Rapper and Dahan could always bring the drinks to the new Quake Prepare Champions winners next QuakeCon. <laughs> you players need to be hydrated well for the fight. I love it. I love it. The smack talk, it provides me energy. Anyway guys, it is uh, Tox and Rafa in their tie-breaking map here on Corrupted Keep. Again, a big win for both of these players, I'd say. Maybe it would be bigger for Tox than it would be for Rafa, because it's, again, so hard to tell Tox's shape. But Tox did make a uh, top 10, though. I think he made top... I think he made ninth, in fact. Oh, there was a world where he could... Oh, I like it. I like it. I like this all play. Unfortunately, he couldn't hit enough, but I love the energy he had there. He managed to even take another big item, so that was... That was big. I think he should be able to move into Tox soon and get a kill. Alright, that was the that was the hard STFU rocket. Oh I think if he used Berserk to get away, he would have been alright, possibly. Stopwatch. Great weapon switch. Really, really good weapon switch. Still a good stack. Oh, that was so close to knocking him out of the map, actually. This is really straightforward for for Rafa at the moment. Really, really straightforward. <laughs> Literally say that and he just explodes. He had like a stack advantage. Look at the stack that he's got right here. He needs one rocket, two rocket, three rocket. He just gets smashed there. That shouldn't have happened. Really solid, guys. It's so solid. It's just, yeah, it's so oh, he's dead. Oh, dude. When there's another rocket there, drop from a player's corpse. I, I, I mean, I'm not saying what Rafa did is wrong. I'm just saying that I would personally be like, hell yeah, give me 20 rockets, especially when it's right next to the to the normal spawn. Alright, that worked out better than expected. Tox didn't seem to have a damn clue that he was up there. Uh oh. <laughs> Did Tox just take a second to appreciate his work? He saw him! He saw him! There! He's right there! We know he saw him because this is literally his field of view, so he- it, there's no trickery going on with like a spec camera. Dude, that rocket placement is so nice. Dude. Like it. I really, really like it. We got it. If, when, time limit duel comes to ranked, I don't know what's going to stop me from playing ranger all the time. I think there's just so many cool things you can do with the orb. So many. I think he's going to be high tier. It's going to be interesting if we do get like a proper tier list when it comes to rank. Do people maybe give some information for new players looking to get into the time limit duel? Like, oh, what champions should I be playing? I reckon Ranger would be up there. Stop up there as like a top three. What kind of stack does Tox have? It might be an advantage. Does he got HMG though? Let's 
doing bits of damage. Okay, Tox is just annihilating him. Toad. Tox did take the Mega, though. He's gonna get the Heavy. I don't dislike this. But no light. Five minute warning. Is it here? Is it here? Three, two, one, now. Oh, it actually happened. I am God. So Rafa's playing pretty defensively. I don't think he's going to push in unless he does get something to open it up with. He has got orb though, so if Tox does charge him, then I, he might he might still get a frag. to make the move. Oh, where the hell is he? He doesn't really want to push past the corner in case he's there. Forty-five damage, just nothing to be sneered at. I like that man. The rocket insta out of there, light armor. This is pro biz. We're still not over committing to a fight. Cherishing his life. Stopwatch. Perfect timing of heavy. Tox seems to have no like he's making so much noise there. He hasn't even realized that Rafa's pushing across the other side. Stopwatch. Like he could have been punished way, way more. Rafa's just defending this. Okay, that's really sick from Tox. But he's not going to get heavy, so it's like the work is immediately reversed. Yeah, uh, he might die here, actually. Yeah. And again, a little bit too in his face. Off the spawn. Ouchie. And I think Rafa might be lifting the taps off this. Causing some chaos. Like, Tox needs to find something really soon. I think Tox not there just because he needed some weapons a little sooner. Tox double jumps into that. I see how much damage he did. That was he took before he could even respond. I was like, why did he double jump into it? Yeah, I think Tox now is like, I'm done. Five frags to get back. Doable, but not when you're this far out of control. He hasn't done enough damage to Rafa in a while. He's got plenty of health to rocket jump around with. That's one of the few passages to attack is if Tox goes through the teleporter. Yeah, the 52 damage shotgun blast was like, okay, I know that any amount of orb explosion should get this. Yeah, this is, this is the GG's right here. Hi, Koze. Good to see you, man. And Rafa's going to win this tour? Yeah, Rafa's, Rafa's easily got this. He's been very, very solid on this map, actually. Tox had some good moments, but... Rafa's just 
really conducting himself well in the fights. And Toxim kind of like lost in terms of where... <laughs> Toxim kind of lost a lot in terms of where um, Rafa was. I said 13 to 4. I think that's the final score that we have. Can maybe look at some stats right at the end. Oh, they're sat not too far from each other as well. So we've got 38 LG. Damage is fairly similar, but wait, I really want to. Damage fairly similar. Contro yeah, controls a lot more for Rafa is the problem. So if you're out of... The typical rule is if you've got le less items, you need to be doing more damage. Very, very basic principle, but um, you need to make sure... Th uh, th the best out-of-control play is where you're dealing more damage than the player in control, where you might 